Hi, I'm Grant with Marine Max of Jacksonville. Today we're going to take a look at Sea Ray's 450 Sundancer. This is a 2015 model. It has a 300 gallon fuel capacity, 70 gallon water capacity, and a 42 gallon holding tank capacity. Let's go take a look. Starting on the stern of the boat, you'll notice that we've got an oversized, really nice swim platform back here. Also incorporated with this uh, swim platform, you've got a swim ladder on the starboard side. As we make our way to the port side, inside here is where your cable master is going to feed out. Great option on this boat, makes it a lot easier for you to handle your shore power cable. An aft facing seat, just to the right of that you've got a beautiful big sun pad. These two doors here, they swing open to make that an even larger sun pad. Underneath this sun pad, we lift this up. Tons of room for life jackets, fire extinguisher, flares, dock lines, dock fenders. All that can go into this oversized storage area. The Sea Ray 450 has got a C shaped CD in the main cockpit, as well as a removable cockpit table, so you can open up the cockpit a little bit if you want more space. If we work our way over to the starboard side, you'll see that we've got an electric grill. Below that, we've got a refrigerator, a little bit of storage, some more solid surface countertop. This boat is also equipped with the cockpit air conditioning, so here's your controls for the cockpit air conditioning. It's not on there right now, but this boat also has a cockpit TV, and this is going to be your mount for the cockpit TV. A little bit more storage, drink holders, sink, trash receptacle. As we keep moving forward, you've got double wide seats on both sides. So in this air conditioned area, four people can sit comfortably up here. Large sunroof, this sunroof opens up electrically. And you can see right here, you've got your controls for your engines. Here's your joystick control and your shift and throttle controls here. This boat is equipped with the Cummins QSB 480 engines pushes this boat at a top speed of 41 miles an hour. To work our way forward from the controls, you can see that you've got electrically opening side windows. They have these on the port and starboard side. Working our way here to the helm, you have dual Raymarine screens. Those are 12 inch screens. We also have vessel view there as well too. Remote for your stereo. VHF radio. Then up forward, we have two electrically opening windows on your forward windshield. As we leave the cockpit and come down into the main salon, you'll notice there's a nice, solid stainless steel handrail right here. going to give you real comfort uh, when you come down into the main salon. You're going to be coming down on some solid wood steps. These wood steps are also open on the back side so that it doesn't close off your media room back here. Take a step back in the media room. Notice on this side, we've got a couch over here. The couch converts into a bed. Uh, it's going to give you some additional sleeping area for the uh, 450. Some blue, beautiful accent lighting down below. Also, we have some Bose speakers, two over there. We've got a few more Bose speakers on this side. That's part of the Bose surround sound. A little bit more of the blue accent lighting. Flat screen, 39 inch. TV, that's an LCD 39 inch TV uh, that's got of course DVD player with it and it also has gaming ports uh, so the kids can come down here and play their favorite video games and then last but not least we've got two ottomans in the media room and those ottomans both open up and give you some additional storage as we work our way back into the main salon area we've got a stainless steel faced microwave oven Working our way down here, these are solid surface countertops, stainless steel refrigerator, stainless steel freezer, got lots of storage back behind the solid surface countertops. Underneath this piece of solid surface, you've got a dual burner, electric stove, lots of drawer space below for all your silverware and utensils, covered sink, stainless steel sink single handle operation 
faucet for the sink with a pull out sprayer. As we work our way over this way, we've got a nice salon table. The salon table folds, giving you easy access to your couch. Again, behind your couch, you've got more storage below and above your window there. Moving forward in the salon, we have a guest entrance into the master head so that you have a day entrance there. Stepping back just a little bit back into the master stateroom, you do have a solid wood framed master stateroom door with some translucent inserts. Beautiful door. On this side, you have a private entrance for the master head. And then on this side, you have a separately enclosed shower. Coming into the master stateroom, if you look on both the port and starboard side, you've got lots of cabinet space, both sides, lots of indirect lighting. The bed is an island style bed, and it's a full size, and it has a reclining uh, backrest on it. That's apostrophetic electric backrest. And as you continue moving towards the starboard side of the boat, more cabinet space there. And then you also have a cedar lined cabinet. Those cedar lined hanging cabinets are on the port and starboard side. Just a little bit past that. We've got a flat screen TV. And we have down below steps on the port and starboard side to gain access to the island berth. 